Here I've taken a sample of water, filled this as close to the top as I can get, and I'm going to perform a Winkler titration to figure out how much dissolved oxygen content there is in this. So in order to do that, what I want to do is I want to add two solutions. One is uh, manganese sulfate. I just want to add a little bit of MN2+. Plus. Okay. And then the second one is going to be a hydroxide and iodide solution. Now the hydroxide is going to catalyze the reaction of reduction and oxidation. And what's going to happen there is that the manganese is going to form a go from a plus two state to a plus four state as it changes into this brown precipitate which is MnO with, with two hydroxides and the iodide is actually going to get used at a later step so what we want to do now is we want to cap this, it's going to overflow so we're going to keep this in a tray and in a beaker and we want that to be on there where there's really no, there's no air bubbles at all, that's well done there so now you can see this brown precipitate forming and that we are going to later in a second step dissolve in sulfuric acid. And when we do that we're going to form a triiodide ion that's kind of a yellowish goldish color and then we're going to do a titration with thiosulfate. So in the meantime we're going to let this mix for a second just to make sure that we get everything and then we're going to come back and dissolve it in sulfuric acid. So now we've let some of our precipitate settle out, and we can see it kind of making its way down towards the bottom. So now we're going to go ahead and dissolve that in sulfuric acid. When we add the acid, that is going to produce another reaction. And it's going to produce a triiodide ion, so we're going to add concentrated sulfuric acid. Now concentrated sulfuric acid is very dangerous, so we want to be very cautious here. And we're also anticipating this overflowing again, and so we need to be cautious that we try and get that as much into the beaker and not splashing or doing anything of major damage. Now, at this point now, this is now stable, um, so I could leave this for a while if I wanted and then come back later and do my titration. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let it mix a little bit, and then we're going to come back and do the titration with thiosulfate and figure out our content. So those are the brown precipitate, we want to get all of that dissolved. So we're now ready to begin our titration. What we're going to do is we're going to take our burette, we're going to get 25 milliliters of this and we're going to add it to an Erlenmeyer flask and then we're going to go ahead and titrate with sodium thiosulfate. Okay, and currently uh, we have our titration apparatus set up right here with the sodium thiosulfate. Now, for the endpoint on this, we're gonna we're gonna be looking for the removal or the changing of the iodide complex into iodine. We're going to do starch to do that, but if we added the starch now, it's so concentrated that it would, uh, it would potentially be irreversible to get that out of there. Um, so we're going to actually start the titration and take that gold color down a little bit first. So I'm starting with 18.97 as the reading on my burette. Up there. 
So we're going to begin our titration, then we're going to add our indicator. Let's start with a little flash there so we can see a clearish color starting to form a little bit. When we get that burst of thiosulfate there, and that's removing the iodide complex. It looks like I might be going a little faster. So let's actually go ahead and add our starch now. So now you can see the color change definitely, or it's almost clear. Just a hint of yellow. So let's go ahead and add some starch solution. We should see it change to like a blackish blue color. So now we can go ahead and continue with the titration in a slower fashion until that end point is gone. Now the thiosulfate we're adding here is very low in concentration. It's point zero zero two five molar. Yep. Looks like that we might have hit our end point. Perhaps even a little too fast. All right, so we might be off by a couple drops there. So now let's go ahead and take our final reading. So we have to scoot this down to see. Our level's right here. So I get that to focus. No. So we are just under twenty eight point one. So let's say 28.12 milliliters. And so we went from 18.97 milliliters on here to 28.12 milliliters with 0 0.0025 molar sodium thiosulfate. So we can figure out the amount of sodium thiosulfate used and then go backwards and then we can go through and we can talk about what the original amount of dissolved oxygen was in there before we did that titration.